Hey everyone, I'm going to walk you through the real basics of programming a Joyo PXL Live for some some real simple pedal switches. Um, we're not going to get too deep into it. I haven't had the chance to dive into the MIDI yet, although I hope to in order to utilize the M9 a little bit better. And, and I don't use the triggers because I usually just use a one channel amp, but you can use those to switch channels uh, you know, or reverb on and off on a, on a simple quarter inch uh, trigger system like most most channel switchers have um, on the far left here you can see it has a mute button that mute allows you to access the tuner you hit it once and you you will get right into the tuner hit it again and it bypasses your signal uh, and it just mutes it so that way you can tune which is right up my alley um, you have the banks you have eight banks that you can scroll through and then you have four presets that you can access so in any one bank so if we're in bank one we have four selections that we can choose from which is pretty cool um, it's it's divided into two parts you have loops one through four or the low loops and then five through eight which are the high loops and essentially you program them with edit high or edit low and I believe it was set up like this in case you wanted to run like a four cable method uh, where you have your, you know, guitar in to the board and into the amp as well as effects send and return. But I'm just going everything right into the front of the amp. I'm, my amps are old and I'm lazy. So, if I wanted to make a, make a preset here, you can see that this one's pretty wet already. That's more than I need. Also... Turn that back on. So what, I, what I'm going to do here is we're going to program 1A. And what's cool is this one's actually set up pretty much how I'm already going to use it. The way you program it is you hold mute down and it's going to bring up the editing. So edit high loops. In this case, my delay, I don't have anything in that next one. M9 and PS3 are the presets. So PS3 is essentially in loop one of those four. So I would hit D to turn it on or off. But I'm not going to use it. I'm really only going to use the M9. I'd hit bank to get it to edit low, which are going to be these four here. And the same deal. Uh, if I wanted to turn the clon on, you can see that it's number two. So I would hit C. <laughs> But I'm not going to use it. This bank is actually already set up the way I like it. So you hold mute down and there we go. Preset. Bank B here. One B. Um, this one I'm going to change. Hold mute. Edit high. I want some PS3s on there. There we go. Done. Um, and then I want to edit low. And I'm going to turn off the clon because I don't want that much. Okay, we're on the right track. I'm going to hold it. Cool. 1C. Uh, this is this is pretty close here. I want to add some wetness to it. This has both the clon and the full drive, so it's a little uh, heavier. Um, so edit high. I am going to add the M9, which is C. That's really all I want out of that one. I'm going to hold mute to save it. And then in bank 1D, there's a lot of stuff going on here. More than I need. So I'm going to hold mute. Edit high. And I'm going to... I'm going to turn off quite a few things here. PS3, M9, and the delay, which is in A. Edit low, you can hear the phasers on there. So phaser is A. And I'm gonna bring Cool. 
cool. Real basics here. Um, so now I have a couple of my clean sounds and a couple of my heavier sounds, and that's that's it. Uh, I could go to bank two and access things just as quick. So I'm gonna I'm gonna. Woo! Hot pedal. Turn off that fuzz pedal there, because that that was feeding into the clon, so we were getting a lot of a lot of sound. So, here I'm going to make. Something kind of noisy. I'm gonna go back over here, edit high. Now you can see here, since I don't have anything in this, if it runs through there, it breaks the loop. So I gotta make sure that I don't, obviously don't add that. Oh. Cool. So now I just, you know, hardest part's gonna be remembering what pats, patches what, because I've always just kind of hit things on my, on my own. So from here on out, it's pretty easy to, to assemble a patch as you need. Uh, last night, as I was in a rehearsal, as we were going through the set list, I started to realize that some of the patches I had made that I thought might work ended up not working as well as I'd hoped. And I was able to, to on the fly, make up some new patches really quick just because you could be, you don't necessarily lose anything. Like you can still play with effects while you're editing. So here I can add go there's my patch that fast and that was slow to utilize as an example so overall this thing's pretty fun i'm hoping to get back into another video shortly that shows a little bit more of the midi programming um as, as i kind of go in and out of scenes for different songs so uh, if you have any questions on this hit me up there's a another killer video that i'm going to link here that is a is a true video manual uh, and uh, my hat's off to the, the guy who made it really impressive stuff. So, good luck. If you guys get one, let me know. I want to hear how you're using them. Thanks much.